your own understanding, truth under Babylon's empiricism. What up? Uh, today I'm actually going to talk about uh, some things that were said a while ago by uh, Mr. Trump in relation to <laughs> a prediction. Or basically, not even a prediction, just basically uh, talking about the agenda in a very subtle, veiled way. So there was an event that uh, was held back in, uh, I think, about 2016. Yeah, 2016, where there was a photo opportunity where he had Donald Trump, himself, and his wife and others just in a photo opportunity where, you know, obviously media is taking pictures and this is either towards the, I believe towards the end of the event. I'm actually going to find out exactly uh, the name of that uh, title of the event. Um, I know it was during the very beginning of his presidency. Anyway, he spoke about, uh, very briefly, the calm before the storm. And the media kind of asked him, you know, what do you mean by that, sir? And he never answered. All he said was, you'll see. And that threw up a red flag in my head and I'm pretty sure in many heads across the country. So basically we're sitting with our arms folded just waiting to see what this fucking storm was. Um, <clears throat> so today I guess we know. So obviously your handlers are fucking with you. Um, right in your face, blatantly just toying with your emotions, toying with your life. They really don't care. So once it gets to the point where you have human beings acting like software programs, then you know it's about that time. So if you want to have any kind of chance in this new augmented false fantasy reality that they have for us, if you want to have any chance, you must turn your back on that. What I mean by that is automation. As convenient and as lovely and as helpful as it may sound or even seem, it is the enemy of nature. Especially when you tie business to the agenda of automation. Because it, then it devours everything natural. Everything. Consumes it all. So, when it comes to your handlers and their uh, ill discretion for causing calamity and um, just, just tyranny all across the world, uh, you, you have to protect yourself, mind, body, and spirit. Protect your intellect from their propaganda, from their nonsense of uh, reporting news. You gotta protect your spirit from the witchcraft and just the, the nonsensical energies that they put out to confuse you, to separate you further from your uh, humanity. And you gotta protect your health, your basic all, overall physical health. Um, obviously they've been attacking that for a long time, uh, trying to get to your immune system in many different ways. So between information and, and food, you're under attack. So you gotta figure out what you're gonna what you're gonna do, figure out what your family's gonna do and what you all are gonna do together. Because they are all together trying to destroy you. And if you don't see that, if you decide you want to show them that you are submissive by being the icon of their tyranny, showing them that you represent the misinformation, the, the falsehoods that they put out by wearing your masks, covering up your mouth, covering up your freedom of speech, uh, basically symbolically uh, closing your mouth, shutting the fuck up and just going along with the going on. And that's what they want. I'm not saying don't protect yourself from the things that you're getting from them, the line of information. I'm just saying 
have an ulterior thought, have something else in your mind other than what is being fed to it. Seek redemption through your own soul. It's not coming from out here.